Namaste, yogis. Welcome to your mat. Welcome to your practice. Today's practice is sort of equal parts strengthening, equal parts um, opening, some fluid movement, um, but a lot of movement to get us going today. With that in mind, let's find our stance a little bit wider than our hips. Bring a soft bend to the knees. Place your palms over the space of the heart and let's close the eyes. We begin the transition from the rest of our day onto our mat with a few cleansing breaths. So drinking a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, empty out of the mouth. Inhale, filling up. Exhale, release. Last cycle like this. Deep breath in to fill up. Exhale and empty out. Letting something go here. And we allow our breath to travel in and out through the nose. Start to feel your awareness shift to your breath. Perhaps for the first time today, perhaps for the first time this week, we invite ourselves into a space of conscious breathing where we are aware of every inhale and every exhale as they travel through our body. Every exhale is an opportunity to drop expectation, drop judgment. And allow a natural unfolding process to emerge as you travel through practice. So that whatever arises as a result of stepping onto your mat today is exactly what you need in this moment. You can allow this to be your guiding intention. Or perhaps you feel a more personal intention arise for you and so Take a few breaths to set intention here. Let's honor our intentions and open practice together with a single chant of OM. Inhale as we span the hands away from the heart. Chanting OM, we draw back to the body. Oh. Joining palms together now in Anjali Mudra here at the heart. Exhale, gently release the hands and blink the eyes open. Feel the feet just hip width apart now at the top of your mat. Come into a few half salutations to warm up into the spine. It's a nice long inhale, Urva Hasasana. Arms rise, gates lifts. Exhale, bow forward, Uttanasana. Take your time, especially in these preliminary movements. And as you inhale, hands press into the shins, lengthening hard away from thighs. Exhale, forward fold, release. Inhaling, reaching through the sky, gaze follows. Exhaling, hands down back of the heart. Again, inhale. 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, find length of the spine. If you have the space, fingertips can certainly stay on your mat. Exhale, bow in. Inhale again, we rise. Standing tall, strong. Exhale, hands to the heart. So to add on now, inhale.
exhale, coming down. Bringing your feet back to hip width and the palms slide flat over the shoulders with the elbows in. Inhale, Bhujangasana, or if you're ready, lift your thighs. Stand on the hands, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, dog. Exhale, in your own way, take as much time as you need. Adha Mukha Svanasana, peel back into downward facing dog. And then enjoy a few deep breaths here in down dog to begin the process of settling in and grounding down into this shape. So you might cuddle the feet, you might lift one leg at a time, open the hips up. You might say yes and no through the head and neck, or even open and close the mouth here, relax and release through the jaw. Allow us to be a moment where we can check in with what's happening in our body. Where are we holding tension? And feel the palms press down and forward into the earth, the base of every finger rooting down. Heart is softening back to the thighs, the thigh bones press back. The heels lengthen away from your toes and down toward the earth. And as you inhale, roll the spine forward, come into your plank shape, shoulders over wrists. Press the heels away, extend the crown forward. Exhale from the core, hips high, downward facing dog, pressing back. Inhale, spine comes forward into plank. Connecting with the core. And from that place, exhale, hips to the sky. Enjoy this one more cycle. Inhale, come forward to plank and pause. Exhale, hips rise, pressing back, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Let a breath go. And then open your feet up. The width of your mat, gently dial your heels out so they align with the outer edges of your mat. And walk your hands back a couple of steps, maybe toward the middle of your mat so the heels are nice and rooted on the earth. Keep your right hand down, thread your left arm for the outside of your right leg and bend the elbow so you feel a twist under your right arm. You can soften into the left knee if that helps. Uh, you would support here. Another breath. Let's find our way through center on an exhale. Left palm pressing down and away from you into the earth. Right hand reaching back for our left leg anywhere but the knee. Then bend that elbow, feel a twist under the left arm as you draw the navel in and back toward the spine. Now my breath to stay smooth in this twist. And last two. On your next exhale, release and walk the hands all the way back to meet your feet. Take a nice wide Uttanasana here at the back of your mat. You can catch opposite elbows. You can get into the shoulders if you'd like here. So anything that you need to release excess tension. Next exhale, send your hands toward the earth. So here, bend the knees 90 degrees. They're stacked over the ankles. Keep your hands on your mat for stability. Or hands can lift up to the heart. More fire today. The fingertips can reach out in front of you. Allow there to be more weight in the heels with the seat drawing back. A couple of breaths here to really fire up the leg. And feeling stable in the core of the body for two more. And as you exhale, release forward, fold up, let it go, bringing your feet underneath of your hips. And as you inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. 
Exhale, forward fold. Begin to walk the hands forward, coming back into downward facing dog. And as you inhale, heels rise, bend the knees, look forward. Now step your feet to the outside of your hands, and we'll come into Malasana at the top of our mat. So the heels can be in and the toes can be out slightly. And as you bend the knees and come into your squat, you want knees tracking in the same direction as toes. And again, the hands can stay on the earth and come up to the heart. Elbows help to press the inner legs open. Tailbone lengthening toward the earth, crown extending toward the sky. And often here we explore closing the eyes. Often here we explore a little movement Help us get deeper into the hips. Enjoy one more breath. Exhale, touch the earth, straighten the legs. Heel till your feet underneath of your hips. Halfway rise on the in breath. Fold on the out breath. Inhale, arms rise, you come all the way to standing, maybe a little curling back here, exhaling, hands to heart center, Anjana Mudra. A couple of rounds of Surya Namaskar C. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, bow, Uttanasana. Inhale, in length and just half leg. Exhale, stepping back with our right foot, find your lunge. Come on to the fingertips here, and as you send the right heel back, you press the left shin forward. Long line from back heel through the crown, another breath in. Exhale, palms touch down, step back, downward facing dog. Through a vinyasa here, if you want to continue with more movement, inhale to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or Up Dog, breathing into the heart. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. So listening to your body today, knowing you can always leave the vinyasa out or find child's pose. A couple of breaths here and down dog. On the next inhale, allow your right leg to rise and use the entire length of the inhale to arrive at the peak of the shape. And then as you exhale, pull the knee to the nose, shift forward, help or step your right foot through between the hands. Open the heart, extend the left heel away, the right shin forward, and lengthening through the crown of the head. So another breath in. Exhale, step forward, Uttanasana. Inhale and halfway. Exhale to bow. Inhale, reach tall. Hands settle into the heart. Exhale. Again, inhale, arms rise. Maybe curling back, listen to your spine. Exhale to bow, Uttanasana. Inhale and find length. Exhale, left foot leads in our lunge. One breath in. Exhale, plant the palms, stepping back, downward facing dog. Inhaling forward to plank, moving through your vinyasa. And moving only as fast as your deepest breath. So that the breath is the initiator of movement. Exhale, leading in downward facing dog. Few breaths here. On the next inhale, slow breath to lift your left leg through the sky. 
Exhale, knee pulls into the nose, around the spine. So use the core to help your left foot through between the hands. And one inhale here to find length. Exhale, step forward, Uttanasana. Inhaling, halfway rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, standing tall, gaze follows. Exhale, hands to Anjali Mudra. So moving now, one breath, one movement. Inhale. Exhale, bow. Inhale and find length. Right foot leads us into lunge. Exhale. Take a breath in here. Now the breath out, downward facing dog. If you're moving through a vinyasa, inhaling forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. And on the new breath, allow your right leg to stroke the sky. Exhale, step through. Inhale, find length in the shape. Exhale, step forward, Uttanasana. Inhaling, halfway. Exhale, bow in. Inhale, stand tall. Hands to heart, exhale. Last time on our left side, inhale, rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale and find length. Exhale, left foot back into lunge. Pause on the in breath, feel the fullness of the shape, and then exhale, taking back. Now we're facing dog. Inhale and plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Breath in. Breath out, downward facing dog. New breath, left leg. Exhale, stepping through. Inhale, feel the fullness. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, and lengthen. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, we rise, gaze follows. Exhale, hands settle into the heart. Close the eyes for a moment here. All the breath to slow down. Noticing if there has been a physical shift, or perhaps an energetic shift in the body. breath out, release the hands, leg the eyes open. So again, inhale, arms will rise. Urdhva Asasana, can curl back. Exhale, bow, Uttanasana. Inhaling, lift and lengthen halfway. So either through a vinyasa here or meet us in down dog. You can also flow back into Chaturanga if it's in your practice. We need a downward facing dog. Taking breath in. Letting breath go. Inhale and allow your right leg to rise. Exhale, pull the knee to the nose, round the upper spine and shift forward. Pause. Inhale, lengthen back, three legged dog. So use the core to move. Exhale, knee to the right upper arms. If you could, reach the armpit. Inhale, lengthen back. Exhale, knee crossing, left upper arm. Inhale, extend back. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. And then slowly, slowly, help her step that right foot through between the hands, find your lunge. 
Send your back knee to the earth. Untuck the toes, and as you inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Anjaneyasana. Crescent move. So descending down into the body on the exhale. Inhale, radiating through fingertips. So you're certainly welcome to stay here. If the shoulders feel tight, the hands come wide. The shoulders feel open. Palms can press. You really need to get into shoulders today. Interlace hands behind the back and press the palms. Extend the index fingers and then roll the heart open. Chin can stay into the chest. Gaze can be at the sky or you can open the space of your throat. Inhale, feel a neutral spine. Exhale, frame the right foot. Draw the hips back over your left knee and begin to straighten your right leg. Ardha Hanumanasana, half splits, fold in. Inhale, and ride your breath here. Feel length in the spine. Exhale, extend over the leg and fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, allow the heart to breathe as you bow. More like this. Inhale, growing long. Exhale, fold in. On a new breath, you bend the right knee, shift forward. Tuck your back toes, lift the knee, and down your heel down. The toes turn in 45 degrees, so the legs are in the pattern of Virabhadrasana. One, and our hands move to the inside of our right foot and then walk out in front of us. So firmly rooting palms into the earth, pressing the pinky toe edge of our left foot into the mat and lifting the left inner thigh as we draw the right hip back. Look deep breaths here into our hips. On the new breath, start to walk the hands back toward you. Lift your back heel, frame the right foot, and send the leg through the sky in a three-legged dog. Just take an in-breath. And as you exhale, step your right foot to the middle of your mat, so several inches behind your right wrist. We're shifting onto our left hand and dialing our toes to the right. Inhale, sweep your right arm through the sky. Then as you exhale, drop the hips a little bit and reach your fingertips toward the back of your mat. Then as you inhale, lift the hips, sweep the arm up and over ear. Exhale, dropping hips, reaching toward back of the room. Feel the pulse. Inhale, up and over. Exhale, reaching. Inhale, up and over. This side. Circle your hands to the ear, step back into down dog. You're welcome to stay here, take a child's pose, or move your way through a vinyasa. Then you arrive, breathe in. Releasing out. Inhale, allow your left leg to rise, nice and slow. Exhale, knee pulls into the nose, press into the back door of the heart, the space between the shoulder blades. And then as you inhale, stretch back, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee comes to your left upper arm, shift forward. Inhale, take it. Exhale, knee crossing to right upper arm. Inhale, lengthen back, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee comes forward, pause, hugging in. Then stepping our left foot through, finding lunge. Soften your back knee to the earth, point the toes. Arms rise, anjaneyasana. Exhaling. 
into the foundation. Inhaling, radiating through fingertips. Find an uplifting action in the heart. Stay here if you'd like. Take your mudra behind your back. Roll the shoulders open. So just the upper spine moves. Chin to chest or open your throat. Breathing deep. Inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, framing the left foot. Draw the hips back over the right knee. Straighten the left leg, Ardha Hanuman. We ride the breath here. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold it. Inhale, finding length. Exhale, and bow. Last time, inhale. Exhale, fold. Enjoy a couple of deep breaths. And we will bend into the left knee, shift forward. Back toes tuck, knee lifts. Set up the pattern in the legs for warrior one. Hands on the inside of our left foot. And then start to walk them out in front of you. As you press the palms down into the earth, you glue the pinky toe side of your right heel onto your mat. And continue to draw back through the left hip. Two deep breaths into our hips here. Last two cycles. On the inhale, let's walk my hands back toward us. Back heel lifts. Send your left leg to the sky just for the in breath. And on the exhale, you step your left foot to the middle of your mat. Prepare for a modified Vashi Sasana. So we dial pose left. We stand on our right hand and reach our left arm through the sky. Inhale. Exhale, descend into the hips. Reach toward the back of your room. Inhale. Hips rise up and over with the arm. Exhale, reach back. Inhale, and up and over. Exhale, and extend. Inhale, now we reach. Circle your left hand to the earth. Step back, downward facing dog. Stay here, Balasana, if you need child's pose. We're working your way through a vinyasa. And again, we meet in downward facing dog. A few deep breaths here. Drink a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out, mouth and out. Inhale, heels rise, bend the knees, look forward, feet to the outside of our hands, coming back into Malasana, our squat. So sitting low, using a block for support if we need it, hands on the earth, or elbows help to open our legs. Heart moving toward the thumbs, crown extending, reaching toward the sky. Just one more breath in. As you exhale, come into Uttanasana and heel toe your feet underneath of your hips. Soften the knees as much as you need to. Hook your first and middle fingers around your big toes. And on the inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, elbows to the side, draw your heart toward the thighs. Bring your chin into your chest. A few deep 
breaths here into the backs of the legs, into the back body. Last one. Release the toes, soften the knees, take a slow roll up your spine, stacking the vertebrae, head and neck, right last, shoulders roll back and down, standing tall, climb, Tadasana. So we'll build on the same sequence. A couple more cycles. Inhale, arms rise, maybe curl back. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen halfway, from vinyasa or straight back to down dog. And right on the inhale, allow your right leg to rise. Exhale, holding your foot through between the hands. Fine lunge. Drop your back knee, untuck the toes. Circle your arms through the sky on Janayasana. So we'll just start to build, knowing that you can pause at any stage. Here, maybe, is your place. We're interlacing hands behind the back, rolling the upper spine open. Or maybe on this cycle, you begin to bend the back leg, reach around with one hand or both to catch the foot. And the purpose is to create some space here. So you'll kick the top of the foot into the hand and open up. Then setting the exhales into the foundation, breathing the inhales into the heart and the breath. On the exhale, releasing the back foot if you have it. Frame the right foot and draw back once again to Ardha Hanumanasana, half splits. And this time we'll just enjoy a couple of breaths in stillness. Maybe you've created more space in the body. New breath, bend the right knee, shift forward. Set up your one in the leg. Rooting the feet into the earth, inhale, take your arms to the sky, Virabhadrasana 1. And we'll move, press your right foot into the earth, straighten the right leg, reach through the fingertips, this is the inhale. Exhale, bend the knees and your right shin forward as you press into the left heel. Inhale, straighten, find length. Exhale, descend into the earth, 1. More like this, inhale. Exhale, find warrior one, pause on the in-breath. Exhale, touch the earth, back heel rises. Send your right leg to the sky, three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, right foot steps to the middle of your mat. Dial your toes to the right, stand on the left hand. Breathe here, or you can stack the legs, find full Vashisasana. Maybe that right arm sweeps up and over the head. As you reach through the fingertips, take another breath. Exhale, hands to the earth, plank, and then straight into Chaturanga or downward facing dog. Leading us in down dog. Nice and long drink of breath in. And a full releasing breath out. Inhale, left leg will rise. Exhale, pulling through, finding lunge. And set your back knee down, point the toes. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. So any krama, any stage that works for your body, arms overhead, or perhaps behind you. Perhaps you bend the back leg, reach around with one hand or both, and then create space by pressing top of foot into hand.
Breathing deep here. Down into the earth on the exhale. Into the heart on the inhale. And then breath. Gently releasing, framing the left foot, draw back into Ardha Hanumanasana. Have splits. So we get a couple of breaths here in stillness. Maybe you've created more space to go deeper. breath. We bend the left knee, shift forward. Veer one feet. Root down. Inhale, full warrior one. Exhale, into the legs. And then explore movement. Inhale, straighten the left leg, reach through the fingertips. Exhale, descend. Inhale, reach tall. Root into the back foot. Exhale, send your left shin Again, inhale, reach. Exhale, warrior one. Pause for the in-breath. Exhale, touch the earth. Back heel rises. Three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, left foot steps to the middle of our mat. Set up for modified Vashisasana first, where you can stay or you can stack the left leg on top of the right, flexing the feet. Maybe that top arm extends all the way up and over. Take another breath in. Exhale, plank, and then straight down, chaturanga, or downward facing dog. Exhaling, down dog. Child's pose, if you need to pause here, a few deep breaths, coming back into balance. If you found your way into child's pose, let's meet in downward facing dog. And as you're ready, inhale, heels rise, bend the knees. Malasana, top of our mat. Come back into your squat. So I just want to open it up as an option to take Bakasana here, crow. So if you'd like to fly, you're certainly Welcome to take a few breaths here in Vakasana, but it won't really be a teaching moment, just a way to turn the volume up and practice.
Okay, inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, floating through between the hands. Back knee down, arms rise, Anjali. So any variation that we've taken so far, or back leg can bend. There are a couple of ways that you can approach this. So you can take mermaid arms by sending the foot into the crease of the left elbow and reaching your right arm up and over as if you could connect fingertips. Shoulders stay square as much as we can. Or you can get into like a, a king pigeon arm here where you take maybe the back foot, circle your elbow toward the sky, curl back. Right hand can stay on the earth or it can come up to meet your foot as well. One more. Exhale to release. Draw back. Ardha Hanuman. So here, staying in half splits or taking a more extended version with or without support. So you might start to press the right heel away from you. Tuck the back toes to lift the knee and start to drop your pelvis toward the earth and then point the back foot. If you're using support, block underneath of your right seat or a block underneath of each hand. We won't be here long, just a few good breaths. If you're in a full split, you can explore opening a heart here. You can also explore the fold. So you might lengthen the heart out over the extended leg. Taking two more. And very gently, if you're in a full Hanuman, pull the right heel toward you. We'll meet in a lunge with the back knee lifted and take your time coming to Virabhadrasana one. So just for a nice breath here, exhaling into the foundation. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, circle your hands to the earth. Three-legged dog, catch the in-breath. Either modified or full washisasana, or you can float those right toes to the inner left thigh. Breathe here, or dance your toes behind the left knee, be on the ball of the foot, and maybe turn it into a a little back bend, flipping hips and heart toward the sky. Take a breath in. Exhale, release. Straight through a vinyasa or meeting us in down. Exhale, exhale, deep breath in. Full breath out. Nice long inhale. Releasing, exhale. As you inhale, allowing your left leg to rise. Exhale, pulling through, fine lunge. Back knee softens, untuck the toes, Anjanasana. Any variation that we've explored here, or arms behind the back, Maybe you bend the back leg. Maybe you set up for that mermaid variation where the foot comes in the crease of the elbow and the left fingertips reach for the right. Or maybe you find that deep shoulder opener where you catch the back foot, circle your elbow toward the sky. The left hand can be by the hip for support. Or the left hand can meet your right. Two more breaths. Exhale, release. Carefully then drawing back into Ardha Hanumanasana. Stay here in half splits 
Now find a more extended version, lengthening the heel away, perhaps tucking the back toes with your knee. Use support here if you'd like it. If you're in full on the mat, again, you can lift and open the heart, or you might enjoy the fold. As much as you can, again, keeping hips square to the front of the room. And breathing deep. Just a few. Last two here. And press your palms and then find a fold. 
If you're in the fold and want to come back into a balancing shape, load up the right foot, take as many steps as you need to, and step into a swan shape. So it's different than warrior three. The front knee stays bent. We pull the heart forward and the arms reach up and over. Full breaths. Carefully, carefully. Send your left toes to the earth. We all meet with our arms through the sky. Inhale. Exhale. Send your back knee down. Point the toes. And set up for a twist on the right. So we'll cross your left elbow to the outside of the leg. Join the palms together at the heart. Pressing right palm into left. Lengthening through the crown. You're certainly welcome to lift your back knee or explore arm variations here. As you exhale, unwind, freeing your right foot, three legged dog, sweep it back. So it might feel really nice in this moment to roll the hip open and bend the knee. Stay here, or you can flip the dog into a wild thing. If you feel open, you can turn all the way into Urdhva Dhanurasana. So both knees bent, toes point to the back wall, and you turn open into a full wheel. Just an option, right? Two deep breaths. You're upside down, you have to root firmly into the left hand to help you come back. Pull the right knee into the nose. Inhale, reach to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your right foot through between the hands. Find lunge, give yourself a breath to get grounded. And then quarter turn to the left long edge of your mat, parallel feet. Fingertips under shoulders. Inhale, feel length. Exhale, forward fold. And so you can really use this as a nice cooling pause in practice. You can certainly catch your toes here or explore variations. If you'd like to move into headstand, you're welcome to float up here. Allow whatever variation you choose to be something which is nourishing to the body rather than depleting. Take two more breaths. Find your fingertips once again. Little bend in the knees, hands to the waist, press them to the feet, rise. Shrikonasana, right side, dial your left, uh, sorry, right foot in leg, 90 degrees. Arms to a T, take an inhale. And as you exhale, lengthen over the leg, and then settle hand to shin or deeper. Left hand directly above the shoulder. As the front thigh rolls open, the tailbone lengthens down. We roll, navel to heart. Open toward the side. Listen to your neck here. Explore the place that feels best for your neck. Take another breath in. And as you exhale, circle hands to the earth. You lunge, stepping back down or facing dog. You can stay here or reset with the vinyasa. Big breath in. Full breath out. Two more. Inhale, heels rise, bend the knees, make your way to the top of your mat. So 
give yourself a moment here in the fold just to pause, release expectation about the sequence to come, release judgment about what passed. Allow yourself to feel fresh and new here on this second side. Last little bit of fire. So staying present. Let's roll up the spine. Standing nice and tall. And prepare for Virabhadrasana 3 with the left foot rooting into the earth. The right knee lifting in line with our navel. And with an exhale, press back. So turn the right big toe down toward the earth, hip rolls down. Explore arm variations. Draw the crown forward. Pull the navel in. Find a bend in the standing leg. Reach your right toes back, touch the earth if you need to. Crescent shape, arms rise. If you're moving on, clasp your hands behind your back, press the palms, roll the heart open on the in-breath, exhale, bow forward where you'll stay, or swan pose, load up the right foot, pluck your right leg off the earth, front knee stays bent as you draw the heart open and then the arms reach up and over. Breathing deep for two more. Let's carefully release. We need in a lunge. Inhale. Exhale, right knee down. Point the toes. And now set up for a twist on the left. Cross the right elbow over. Join the palms together at the heart. Pressing top palm into bottom. Firing up this pose if you'd like to lift the back knee. You can certainly bind here. Feeling deeper spaces only as a natural progression of your practice rather than a forceful action. One more breath. Exhale, unwind. Send your left leg through the sky, three legged drop. So it'll probably feel really good now to roll that hip open, bend the knee, and stay. Or flip the dog into a wild thing, or perhaps Urba Dhanurasana. Bend both knees, toes forward. And turning into full wheel. A couple of breaths. Come back around, plant your right hand. Left knee into the chest. Exhale, breathe into the back body. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhaling, stepping our left foot through. Especially if you are upside down, giving yourself a moment here to get grounded. And turning to the right long edge of our mat, parallel the feet. Inhale, find length. Exhale, forward fold. So again, exploring variations here as they serve your practice. Going upside down if you'd like. We're just using this as a wonderful pause. If they aren't already there, fingertips on your shoulders, lengthen. Little bend in the knees, hands to the waist, we rise. Triangle now on our left side. Arms to a T, inhale. Exhale, extend. And take yourself into full expression of triangle. Left seat rolls under the body, tailbone lengthens down, and then we begin to 
roll the torso open and find a gentle leaning back quality of the shape. Another breath. Exhale, right hand finds the earth to lunge. Step back down, you're facing dog. One final vinyasa if you would like one. Feel full and complete exhales. Outside of our wrists, so it's 
outside the line of our hip. Lengthen the back leg. If you want the back bend here, fingertips can start to walk back. This might be enough. You can bend the back leg, reach with one hand or both. Mermaid arms, if you want, take the foot to the crease of the elbow. Or find full king pigeon arms here. One more breath. Gently release with the next hand and start to extend out if you're in the back bend. Taking it slowly to release the spine. Start to find especially full exhale.
As you inhale, move the knees through center. Exhale, dropping them to the left, turning your gaze to the right, softening your right shoulder into the ear. to turn gentle movement back to the body.
Begin a nice big stretch, extending the hands away from the feet. And keeping the eyes closed, roll onto your right side, rest there. Gently returning yourself back to a comfortable seat. Joining the palms together at the space of the heart. Recalling for a final time our sacred intentions. We honor these intentions and our practice together today with a single chant of Aum. Deep inhale, filling up. Oh, 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 oh,